Skyrocketing interest rates have spooked equity and bond investors. It's also triggered a search for alternatives. So where can you find safety and yield? Brandon Clark, director of the ETF business at Federated Hermes, joins us right after this. Welcome to the program. I'm Rhonda Leggy. It's great to see you again. Hit the like button if you've been enjoying our original programs like this one, and don't forget to subscribe. The coordinated fall in stocks and bonds has some investors searching for alternatives. They want yield, but they also want safety. Here to talk with us about that is Brandon Clark. He's the director of the ETF business at Federated Hermes. Brandon, thank you for joining us. It's great to see you. Thanks for having me, Ron. So Federated Hermes offers its investment expertise in so many different formats. You've got mutual funds, closed-end funds, separately managed accounts, just to name a few. And given the industry-wide product and asset growth of ETFs, do you expect ETFs to become a bigger part of your firm's product solutions? Yeah, we do. I think uh, to what you just mentioned there is, is one of the reasons why we see that. We see the continued growth of ETFs in the marketplace. Uh, we see the continued growth of active. Uh, you know, ETFs have largely been a, an index type vehicle for, for decades. But over the last few years, we've really seen active management start to pick up in terms of investor adoption, investor use. And so from our perspective, you know, getting into the ETF business is really about offering, you know, ETFs in terms of how, how clients want to consume our investment strategies. So whether they want it, as you mentioned, in a mutual fund or an SMA or a commingled trust or an ETF, we really just want to meet clients where they want to be met and just give them the choice to, to access our investment expertise in whichever vehicle they like. Let's talk about your current lineup of ETFs. There's the short duration corporate ETF, that's ticker FCSH. And then you've got the short duration high yield ETF, ticker FHYS. And with the Federal Reserve aggressively lifting interest rates, it seems like the smarter strategic play, at least for now, is with shorter term bonds, which are less impacted by rising rates compared to their longer dated counterparts. So tell us a little bit more about the funds. Those first two funds, I'd like to say we had a crystal ball knowing where the markets were going to move. But those first two funds were for us a really good fit and a good good way to enter into the ETF market. Um, our business is... You know, we, we focus on equity, fixed income, and money markets. We have a very large money market and fixed income franchise. And for us, the combination of shorter duration, um, fixed income was a really a natural ent entry point for us. FCSH, FHYS have very similar characteristics to each other. So they're both short duration corporate bond funds. Uh, FCSH is a investment grade, short duration fund that does allow it, because it is actively managed, does allow it to buy into some high yield and or bank loans, I'd say uh, opportunistically within, within reason. You're not going to find uh, it being an investment grade fund turning into a high yield fund overnight. Um, but you know, usually maybe up to 20%, we, we might be accessing high yield markets where we saw opportunities. But really think of it as an investment grade fund. For FHYS, that's a high yield bond fund. Um, and what I would say is different around that portfolio relative to some of the other products you see in the marketplace, because it's actively managed, what we've done is combined both high yield, short duration, high yield corporate bonds along with bank loans. And when we were building this product, it was, a, um, it was really an open spot in our lineup that we felt like if we were to build this product, what's the right way to do it? Given the the size of the bank loan market, coupled with the size of the high yield market, they they're they're largely kind of I won't say equal, but they're they are growing in together in size. It really made sense for us to combine those two products. If you're thinking short duration and you're thinking high yield, you know choosing one over the other is really not the right approach. Letting us be the you know provide our investment expertise, allocating between both of them given the fact that we are looking at that entire universe, which really seemed to make a great fit for us. Um, so those two products, short duration, focused on investment grade, focused on high yield, those are really the two differentiating features between them. But you're really looking at that, I'll say, 
you know, three years duration and in type strategies. Over the past 45 years, bonds have fallen in value only five times. And the sharpest decline was a modest 3% slide. That was in 1994. There are billions of dollars invested in bond ETFs tied to the Bloomberg U.S. Aggregate Bond Index. And investors with money inside these types of ETFs, inside a taxable brokerage account who are staring at double-digit year-to-date losses in these types of funds, now is a good time to consider tax loss harvesting, turning your lemons into lemonade. So ETFs obviously offer some advantages in this area. Give us your thoughts. Yeah, this year has been and been really tough uh, in the markets as a whole, right? In fixed income and equities, it's been a it's been a really tough market for investors. So, if uh, I'll use your, your your comment, lemon into lemonade. If there's lemonade to be had, I guess at this point, you know, being able to tax loss harvest, create um, opportunities to offset future income and or future capital gains. ETFs are great tools for that. Uh, mutual funds can be used as well uh, for that, but you know. Being able to move from, from one investment to another really benefits the client in order to, to tax loss harvest, go into a product that they see for you know long-term investment purposes. It, it's really a good fit for their portfolio. The benefit of ETFs, I'd say the, the, the benefits really around the vehicle are obviously the tax efficiency, right? These are first, these first two are fixed income. From my perspective, we have you know, we're going to be offering up a lot of different uh, strategies. So thinking longer term out, fixed income, equity, ETFs tend to be generally tax efficient. They do have some lower costs associated with them, largely around how they how they operate with in-kind. So you tend to see a lower tax footprint, maybe a little better, um, you know, a little better cost structure relative to a mutual fund. They do offer uh, intraday trading. There's some, you know, ans- I'll say ancillary benefits that some clients see. But really, you know, for these first two products, to me, there's, there's two benefits. One, they, they do provide a very targeted duration and or exposure along the curve. So if you are looking to get risk adverse, given the, the, the move in durations, these will help. And two, they are actively managed. So this is not tax opinion, purely from a, from a tax wash sale perspective. A lot of folks who are in index funds to potentially avoid a wash sale, utilizing active management may get you over that, uh, over that concern around wash sale. So it does provide a couple different benefits that um, that clients might appreciate when it comes to utilizing the products. One final thing before you take off, Brandon, how do you see investors and financial advisors deploying FCSH and FHYS inside a diversified portfolio? Yeah. So to me, these first two products are really tools. Right, so they have the ability to offer up solutions, targeted duration. For a lot of clients, they have core fixed income. Because they have core fixed income, they have the ability, if they wanted to short dura- shorten up duration in the portfolio and not necessarily give up a lot of yield, they can maintain their core position but utilize these two products to maybe bring duration in. Bring duration in, not necessarily give up yield. So they're really, to me, tools and ways to to manage asset allocation for clients um, and and really be able to fine tune their duration and or credit risk that they want to they want to um, allocate to their portfolios. Well, thank you, Brandon, for dropping by and sharing your insights. Keep up the good work. Be sure to visit federatedhermes.com to learn more about the firm's expanding ETF lineup. We've also got the link post in the description section below, so be sure to hit that. Thank you for watching ETF Guide TV. I'm Ron DeLegge, and we'll see you next time.